What is up everybody? It's Daniel and I'm inside my phone again today to show you how to basically create content for your Instagram account. So there's a lot of different strategies that people use. You know, a lot of people will repost, a lot of people will make their own content and just kind of come up off the top of their head with it. A lot of people will model different posts from other people. And honestly, the way I like to do it is the third one. So as you can see here, this is my page right now. And I basically just use, you know, basic letters. And it's a pretty common motivational entrepreneurship, whatever you want to call it, type of page here. And as you can see, I've showed you this post before. This one went viral. I made this up totally on the fly on my own. And a lot of these I've modeled off other people. I modeled this one off someone else. I got 600. This one I made up. got almost 700. But anyways, so there's lots of different strategies, as you can tell. And actually, I'll show you one other example of... I reposted this one, 800 likes. And, you know, it's really up to you what kind of posting method you want to use. But I'm going to show you in this video how to make post using word swag and I'll make other videos if you want about how to repost or how to find you know popular post whatever but making a post with word swag I typically like to start off the process by going to my home page and you want to make sure you're following big inspirational pages or you know if you're in a different niche follow pages that have large followings and you just want to look through their posts basically so if we go here to Bold Mindset, I'm going to look through his page right here. I want to hit this one and then scroll down a few to get past the newer posts. And so let's see here. This was three days ago, so this is a good place to start. And this one got 3,600, 2,800, 3,400. All right, this one got a little bit more, 4,500. Two, two, almost three almost four and what you're really doing here is looking for posts that went viral so posts that got a lot more likes than you know they normally get so this right here this post got 5,483 likes so this would be a good example of uh, a post to model and you could just repost this it is a little bit easier you don't have to go through all the work of making a post but it does say at bold mindset on the bottom and you know you're basically just reposting it's not gonna have your branding on it so i typically like to just remake posts like this myself so it's just albert einstein in space it says the true sign of intelligence is not knowledge but imagination so you know a good place to start with this would be to just go on the internet find a picture of Albert Einstein and then put this quote on yourself so let's go here and let's see let's go to Google and we'll go Albert Einstein and we go to images. And so all of these pictures are obviously more realistic ones. Look right here, bam, Albert Einstein photo. So you can literally just take this yourself, save image. And one thing to clarify before I go any further, I always had this misconception that, you know, it's not legal to use any of these images. And, you know, it may not be. Obviously, it says the bottom images may be subject to copyright. But the reality of the situation is no one, very, 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 very rarely are you going to have somebody that made an image or took a picture see your Instagram account, first of all. I mean, there's 7 billion people in the world. I don't know how many on Instagram. I think almost a billion. And, you know, nobody, most likely they're not going to see it. And then second off, if they do see it, they're not going to spend thousands of dollars suing you. They're just going to ask you to take it off or they're going to thank you. A lot of uh, photographers or graphic designers thank people that put on their post 
or that use their pictures for posts because it gives them more exposure. But, you know, don't let that hold you back. I used to make Instagram posts with only uh, pictures from, like, Pexels and, you know, non-copyright photos, and that's just a waste of time. They're way less, you know, intriguing of pictures for the most part, and you can just use any image from Google. Just, you know, if someone asks you to take it off, obviously just take it off, but you shouldn't have any trouble with that. So, like... Coming back to this, we have Albert Einstein, and we're just going to go to Word Swag. And Word Swag is basically an app that I like to use on your phone. I know it's on the App Store, I'm not sure about Android. And I think it costs about $3 one time fee, so it's definitely worth it. And you just click that, go to Camera Roll. Hit this, hit that, and then as you see we get him here, and then you can pick different sizes for different, uh, you know, images for whatever, Facebook and whatnot. And let me think here, we'll keep his hair in there, so we'll go like that. Bam, double tap to change the text. And... What did he say? He said, the true sign of intelligence is not knowledge, but imagination. So, they have lots of other quotes in here, actually, that you can kind of just go through. But I like to do custom. So, a true... Was it the or a? That was the... I just like to copy it word for word. The true sign of intelligence is not sorry the notification threw me off is not knowledge but imagination knowledge but imagination bam all right we got that on there and the one uh font that i like to use there's all kinds of stuff in here you can change the color do whatever i like to use twenty thousand leagues it's just you know basic text and let's find find one. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think where I want to put this. Typically, I like to go vibrant. Maybe not in this photo. I don't know. Maybe it would be better normal. No, I like. I typically like to go vibrant, and then just darken it a little bit. So you can read the words. And we can just make it like that. True sign of intelligence is not knowledge, but imagination. Save. And that it's as simple as that, really. And then you can add a logo or a watermark. So if you have a PNG file with a transparent background, you can throw that on there. I like to just do this. Reswag gives you a copy of the words. You double tap. And then I like to put my website name in there. It's kind of just like my trademark thing. Lifestyle.com. Oops. Actually, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it's all caps. And I like to do this font for my uh, for my link. I just like to put it a little bit smaller than the top line. And then, bam, I'm done. And obviously I did that in like a couple minutes. That was pretty quick. The most important part is I would say rather than taking Gamble, even though Gamble's work sometimes, like I've had posts do really well without me looking for any inspiration. But if you find posts that have already done well virally, you have a lot better chance of it going viral or semi-viral. So that whole research, you know, thing in the beginning where I went on to Bold Mindset's account and found a post that did better for him than most of his posts. That just increases your chances of going viral by a lot. And then obviously when we want to post, we click the plus, go to the library, we want that one. And then, you know, you can mess with this if you want, whatever. 
I'm not actually going to post this right now, but I am going to post this in about 20 minutes when the 3 p.m. engagement round starts. And then I've showed you this before. I typically like to tag myself, and I put it right there. And then caption, you can write whatever you want, do a hashtag or two. And I'm actually going to make a video about uh, hashtags and if you're going to use them, how you should do it. But that will be in a different video. So that is pretty much it. That's how you post from, that's kind of how, the whole process really, that's how you go from finding viral posts that have previously been posted to creating a post on word swag and then posting it. Obviously there are a lot of other uh, methods to this. There's the reposting, like I said. There's also video content, which is very big. And I will make videos about all the different kinds of things. This video is just focused on word swag, so make sure you subscribe for more Instagram content. I come out with videos every day now, and thank you for watching. Leave a like. It helps me out a lot, and I will see you all tomorrow. Peace.